I do not like flying. There is a little bit of a hiccup. Rolled my eyes a couple of times. I got a window seat. It's a beautiful morning here in Beijing. Too bad I'm leaving. Well, not forever, just for a couple of days. I'm going on a trip to the snow capital of China. It's a city called Altai, and it is way up north in Xinjiang, which is a region in the northwest of China. I am not a fan of winter. Being in Beijing, it gets super cold and the wind always finds its way in the nooks and crannies and gets into your body no matter how many layers you're putting. But this winter has a different flavor this year, especially in Beijing. The city is hosting the Winter Olympics and there's been a bit of hype around winter sports. And so I was like, why not give snow a chance? Why not give winter a chance? Maybe I'll like it. But before all of that, I am going to go get tested for COVID just to make sure that everything is safe. My favorite mode of transportation is and will always be as long as I'm in Beijing, the subway. It's very convenient, affordable, and it gets you to where you want. The problem is with mornings, you get the morning rush. Another escalator. Oh my god. Look at the queues. Oh, I guess we'll have to wait. The next train has arrived. I like how one leaves and then another immediately comes within seconds. So even though there is a queue, it'll be gone in no time. Let's see if we can make it in. Yeah, probably not. This train arrived, next train arriving. And I do believe them. It will be arriving in like this. Here's another train. We might make it, we might make it, we might make it. Ah, uh, there's no way. It is jammed. Okay, next one. Okay, this is the one. There is no way I'm not getting on this one. Okay, here we go. I am outside again. I still have a bit of walking to do before I get to the testing site. This service that I've booked, they you can you can book it online, but they operate on a first come first serve basis. That's why I'm trying to be the first person they see this morning. I'm just gonna speed up. That little module cube, the white cube, and apparently there's no line, so we might make it, you guys. Oh man, there's already a cube. At least it's not that long, so doable. There's still 15 more minutes to go before they open and the queue is just growing longer and longer and longer. Luckily I was smart and came in early. There are a few people in front of me, but maybe like a dozen or so. So it, it should be manageable. We are done. It's 9.43. It's, uh, it's been efficient. It's been productive because I asked for the express service. Um, the results should be out within six to eight hours. Yesterday when I did my test, it took them three hours to get back to me with a negative result, thankfully. And so I'm hoping that I would be able to get my results before I board the plane. The next thing is to get back home get my suitcase, get back to the subway on a train to Daxing Airport. So Beijing has two airports, one in the north, which is capital airport, and then the second one, which is the newest one, is Daxing, and that's where we're taking off from to go to Xinjiang.
I think I'm gonna make it back home way before schedule. It's shaping up to be a pretty good day. I'm back on the road dragging my suitcase. Trust and believe this suitcase is jam-packed with thermals, heat pads, fleece sweaters. I'm someone who gets cold quite fast and I'm not taking any risks. A friend of mine who's already in Altai texted me yesterday and she was telling me that the weather is not as atrocious as I might think even though that the temperatures might drop to below zero. Uh, she said that there's strong sunshine in the morning and there's no wind but still I am not going to take any chances, no risks. I'd better be over prepared than under prepared and freezing and hopefully I will make it to the airport just in time. The last time I was at that airport I, I remember we were going on a business trip as well, filming trip to uh, Yunnan in southwest China and there were three of us, me and two cameramen and someone was late, not me. Not me. And we were so late that we started to run through the airport after passing through the security check. And the people at the counter were calling us on the phone. We were that late. I think we were the last three people to enter to board the plane. We did get a few stairs. But whatever it is, I don't want this to happen again today. So better be early then sorry. Right on time. This is the same station that I came to in the morning during the morning rush and now there's barely anyone there. Let's do a little bit of uh, geography exploration. We are here, moving towards here, and we have to go all the way to here, Caoqiao, and then transfer to the Daxing Airport Express. I just got off the Beijing subway and now I am making my way to the Daxing Airport Express. This train goes as fast as 160 kilometers per hour, which is pretty fast. Probably not as fast as the fastest train um, in China, which is the Fuxing, that runs at 350 kilometers per hour. But 160 kilometers per hour is still pretty fast. And so within 19 minutes, I should be within the premises of the airport. Wow, this is pretty, pretty big. It's a pretty vast platform. I don't know why I'm surprised. It's not the first time that I've been here. Here comes the train. Oh, this is a good day. I love, love, love when I don't have to wait for the train and the train waits for me or we arrive at the same time. It's it just you feel lucky. I tell you the stars are lining up today Which is a good thing because I Do not like flying. It is one of the least least favorite things That I like to do in life getting on a plane not my thing Oh, uh, <laughs> apparently I was just standing at the wrong place. There isn't even a door here. All right, that says a lot about my intellect. Oh, wow, fancy. Ni hao. Okay, here we go. I have my subway card in my hand and I am ready to exit the subway system and exit the subway system and go into Daxing International Airport. God knows where I'm going. This looks fancy. It's a little peekaboo hole. It says China. China Southern, it says to go that way, but I'm still gonna go this way. This is baggage drop, but what if I don't want to drop my baggage? What if I want to keep my baggage with me? Can I do that? I think I could. I'm just gonna 
I'm just gonna follow people and just stand where they're standing and see what happens. There is a little bit of a hiccup. I was asked to go to a different floor because boarding will start soon for my flight. Um, it takes off at 2.30 and now it's 1.04 and there's a few things that I need to take care of. Um, they sent me to another place. So fingers crossed, it'll work out. I am looking for a B21 counter. Um, I was underground and now I am on the fourth floor. Um, this place is amazing, by the way. Just amazing. Look at it. Because of the epidemic situation, there are new policies out now. And I still have a few more documents to fill out. So hopefully it will not take too long. Here we are, Urumqi Gate. It's a shorter queue here, only a couple of people. I am inside the airport. I cruised through security check and now I am going to C-52. It's, um, check this out. Is this an airport? Is this a museum? I guess we'll never know. These big vases. Very, very nice. Finally made it to the plane, sitting in 47H. I didn't choose the seat, it found me. Luckily it's an aisle seat. It's an aisle seat. This way I don't have to look at the window, so do not expect yeah, yeah, one of those right. shots where the plane is taking off or the plane is coming down, you know, these artistic shots that other people do. Yeah, you're not gonna find this here because I do not like to look outside the window when the plane is moving, unless it is moving on the tarmac. Okay, so the lady came and she wants to claim her seat next to the window. I mean, I could have happily given it to her. But there's another lady sitting there. She hugged the seat. Oh, turns out that she's on the wrong side of the plane. She's not even supposed to be on our side. Ah, glad that it all worked out. The trip to Altai in Xinjiang goes through Urumqi, which is the regional capital. We're looking at arriving to Altai at around 10.30 p.m. That is a considerable flight given that it is domestic. But uh, hey, it's all worth it if I end up loving the snow. We have landed in Urumqi. The flight was okay. I, I was dozing off and just in this weird space between not fully awake but not quite asleep and I guess it's because yesterday I did not get enough sleep not a lot of turbulence so that's always good um, the food was all right I've had worse for sure um, and uh, yeah uh, Urumqi airport I don't know how many terminals they have but it does seem a little bit quiet not a lot of people here but one thing that I did notice is that when we were getting our new tickets for uh, Altai from Urumqi a lot of the people heading the same direction had quite a few of them had winter sports equipment snowboards skis in a way I felt like I was being mentally prepared for what is yet to come um, our flight is not taking off before half an hour, so I'm just working my legs a little bit. I do have a coffee, and if you've noticed, I have changed my mask. No airport is ever complete without McDonald's and KFC. We just walked the length of this airport, so I'm just gonna go back to the gate and wait for the plane to take off. So I got a window seat. 
it's been a very long time since I had this specific type of seating, which I would normally avoid. But I guess it's my lucky day today, and it is your lucky day because we might just have a few shots of the plane going up, the night sky perhaps. We'll see, the sky is the limit when you have a window seat. Let me suggest that I'm comfortable being taken strongly. For safety, please make sure your seat fast security fastened. Thank you. here finally look at the snow outside we just landed in Altai after a very very long day and uh, it doesn't feel that cold but that could also be because I've only been outside for a few seconds I am finally at the hotel on the way we had a stop at a restaurant just to have a quick bite and the guys ordered a local dish. It's called goyu, which literally translates to dog fish. And the reason why it's called that is because that type of fish has a mouth that resembles that of a dog. I personally couldn't see the resemblance, but apparently that's what the story is. There is somewhere, uh, somewhere here, in the far back, a Ferris wheel. Hopefully tomorrow morning I will film it for you guys. Um, the lights there are off, but in this room, the lights will stay on for quite some time because my friend and colleague Jessica is coming over. Tomorrow we are doing a bit of filming, and so tonight we still have to go over a few things. It's two. 15 in the morning. Our meeting lasted longer than expected. It's been an amazing adventure coming from Beijing to Urumqi and then to this winter wonderland that is Altai. But it's definitely time to go to bed. Zaijian. Hi again. This is my second night here in Altai and I wanted to show you what the view from outside my window looks like. Yesterday when I was filming, the lights were out because it was so late, but today it is a visual feast. 